Welcome to week two of our mindful movement challenge with Allo Yoga. I am Alyssa Yoga. I will be teaching this class today. Our new growth class will be focused on a vinyasa and some standing balances. But more than anything, we're going to focus on the theme of peace begins with me. So after you take the class, feel free to one, subscribe to Allo Yoga's YouTube channel, and two, leave a comment. Let me know how you like the class. I really enjoy reading your feedback and seeing it. So without further ado, let's get started. Comfortable seated position. You can sit on your heels or come to easy pose crossing the legs. Bring your hands to your knees or thighs, center of the lap. Close the eyes. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Few centering breaths here. Now, as you continue to follow your breath with the eyes closed, each inhale, mentally repeat peace begins and each exhale mentally repeat with me inhale peace begins exhale with me peace begins with me peace begins with me Continue on your own for a few more rounds. Peace begins with me. Very nice. Slowly start to blink open the eyes. Keep this theme, this mantra in the back of your mind as we move throughout our practice. Peace begins with us on our mats and then we can take that out into the world individually and collectively and change it to be a better place. From here, let's step our knees back. If you're near the top of the mat like I was, we're going to come into a tabletop pose just to get everything set up. Your shoulders are right over the wrists and then the hips are directly over the knees. Tuck your toes under, grow into your first downward facing dog. Pedal the heels, warm up the legs, keep the breath steady. Now lift both heels up, bend your knees really deeply here. Bring your chest on your thighs. This is called bear pose in some yoga traditions. One more breath here. And exhale, let the heels fall down to the mat or hover. Stretch the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. Now lift the heels up off the mat. Exhale, we'll drop the heels to the left side of the mat. Inhale, back up through center and exhale over to the right side of the mat. Inhale, back up to center, and exhale, release the heels. It's really important to remember our feet when we're practicing yoga to stretch them. They're one of the first places we start to lose feeling when we age. So always take care of your feet. Now, lift the right leg up, Step the right foot between the hands. We're going to come into a high lunge here. Keep the left heel lifted. Lift your arms up parallel. Gaze directly in front of you. Breathe. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. We're going to step back. Instead of a chaturanga, we're going to lower the knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Elbows hug in, right next to the ribs. Inhale, cobra, keep the knees on the floor. And exhale, child's pose. 
toes tucked, and then back to downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up. Step the left foot between the hands. Keep the back heel lifted. Rise up to a high lunge position. Gaze directly in front of you. Both legs are engaged. And exhale, back down to the mat. Plant the hands, step the left foot back, lower the knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra, knees on the mat. And exhale, press back to child's pose. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. We'll start our flow here. Lift the right leg up. Plant the right foot between the hands. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Here, straighten the front leg. Reach the right arm forward and then down, triangle pose. Hand can come to the shin or the inside of the foot, or you can even grab your big toe. Wherever you are, keep reaching the left fingers up. Gaze is lifted. Option to stay here. Or you can take a wrap. Bring the left hand across the low back. Tuck it in the right hip pocket. Roll the left shoulder back so it's directly on top of the right. Now re-extend the left arm high. Keep the gaze lifted as you extend the arm forward. Core is in tight. Slowly bring the left hand down. The right hand will come on the outside of the foot. Take a small step forward, square off your hips. Exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Really feel this stretch on the back side of the right leg. Now we'll move into a twist. You might bring a block underneath the left hand, or you can keep the left hand to the inside of the right foot. Extend the right arm up. First option. You may also bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Second option. Now, take a wrap on this side, this pose, revolved triangle. And re-extend. Replace both hands on either side of your front foot. Use your fingertips for balance here. Transfer all the way into the right foot. We're going to come into warrior three. Lift the back foot up. Flex the foot to keep the hips square. Lift the hands to the center of the chest. Press down through all four corners of the right foot. If you're working on your balance, really focus on pressing down with the right big toe. Now, bring the right fingertips or palm to the right corner of your mat. Flex the left foot, extend the right arm. If you're working on balance, keep your gaze at the floor. If you feel pretty steady here, start to lift the gaze. And if you'd like to take the variation, bend the lifted knee, reach for the foot or the ankle, and kick. Sugar cane pose. Slowly release the posture. We'll come back into warrior three, both hands down to steady yourself. Flex the left foot again. Lift the hands to heart center, palms press. Left hand will come down now. Revolved half moon, extend the right arm up for three, two, and one. Really nice with that balancing series. Plant the hands. High plank, lower the knees, chest, chin, cobra, lift, open the heart, and exhale, down dog. Shake out the legs, go for a little walk. Inhale, lift the heels, and bend the knees, bear pose. Lift the hips again, drop the heels down. Nice, left side. 
Lift the left leg up. Step the left foot between the hands. Rise up. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Gazes over the front fingertips. Now straighten the left leg. Keep reaching forward, forward, forward. And then right into triangle pose. Your version of the posture. Gaze is lifted. Bring the right hand, that top hand, across the low back. Tuck the hand in the left hip pocket. Stack the shoulders. Re-extend the right arm high. And reach the right arm forward. Keep gazing up. Exhale, slowly release. A hand on either side of the left foot. Take a step forward, square off the hips, and fold for pyramid pose. Now we'll move into revolved triangle pose. If you feel like in this pose you need to bend your front knee, it just tells us that you need to lift the right hand up a little higher, either on a block or on your shin. So notice if you feel like you need to bend the right knee. Lift the left arm up. Maybe bring the hand on the outside of the foot. If you feel like you need to bend that knee, just grab a block, no worries. The postures serve your body as you move with breath. Slowly release the arm behind the low back. Grab the hip pocket. And re-extend the left arm. And replace the hand. Now, hand on either side of the left foot this time. We're setting up for warrior three. So you might bend your knee, let it release a little bit, and transfer all the way into the left foot. Step into the left foot, lift the right leg, flex the right feet so the toes are pointing downward, squaring off the hips. Now, hands at heart center, press down through the left big toe. We'll bring the left hand to the ground for half moon pose. You can place your hand on a block, fingertips on the floor. We'll start to stack the shoulders and the hips. Lift the right arm, lift the gaze. And if you took sugar cane pose before, take it again here. Bend your right knee, reach for the foot, and kick. Gazing at the floor gives you a little bit more stability with the balance. If you're in the bind, slowly release your foot, both hands down for a little stability, and then press down through all four corners of the left foot, flex your right foot, bring the hands back up, warrior three. Right hand will come to the floor now for the twist, for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the hands back down. And this time we're going to step the right foot next to the left. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands come to the center of the chest. A few more balancing poses here. Shake out your legs if you need to. Flowing with a balance is sometimes holding a lot of stress and energy there. So shake it out. Now transfer all the weight into your left foot. We'll start simple and easy tree pose. If you're working on your balance, you can always come to a wall, place a hand on the wall, help yourself that way, and then you have options. So the first option is to keep your toe on the ground and your heels just right above the ankle. Next option is to bring your foot to the inside of the calf. Here. Third option, Bring your foot to the inside of the thigh. Notice how we're avoiding the knee joint. Bring the hands to heart center. Gaze at something that's not moving in front of you. 
breathe. And just like the name of our flow, we're going to grow our tree. So new growth. Slowly bring the hands back to heart center. Turn your right knee forward and release the pose. We'll take it to the other side. Shake out the legs a little. All the way into the right foot. And you have those same options. Toe stays on the ground, foot to the inside of the calf. Avoid the knee, of course, or foot to the inside of the thigh. Now, bring your hands to heart center. Gaze at something that's not moving. Don't worry if you fall out of a balancing posture. You just try again, hop right back into it. Lift the arms up. Slowly bring the hands back to center. And then rotate the left knee forward and release the leg. Let's check it out. So next is hand to big toe. You don't have to be able to extend your leg forward while holding it in this pose. I'll show the modification first. We'll transfer the weight into the left foot. Modification will be to grab the knee here. When we open to the side, you'll just keep holding the knee. If you're ready and your hamstrings are feeling nice, hopefully they are after this point, since we're to this point in the flow, then you can grab your big toe here. So peace fingers and thumb are gonna wrap around your toe. Left hand comes to the waist. On an inhale, begin to extend the left leg forward. Breathe, roll the right shoulder back in line with the left. And now on your next breath, open the leg up to the side of the room. As you do so, your gaze travels over the opposite shoulder. So right leg out, gaze over the left shoulder. If you're modifying, you're holding on to the knee instead here. Back forward with the leg. Now keep the right foot flexed. Extend both arms up. Breathe for three, two, and one. Really nice. Hands come back to heart center. We'll take it on the other side. Transfer all the way into the right foot. And like before, modify by grabbing the knee. Or if you're ready to grab your toe, peace fingers, thumb, wrap them around the left big toe. Right hand comes to the waist. Feel steady here. Roll the left shoulder back. Press down through the right big toe and begin to extend the leg forward. Come back to that mantra from the beginning of class as we open the leg out to the side. Peace begins with me. You can extend the opposite arm, gaze over the shoulder. Back to center. Now flex the left foot. Be strong here. Arms up for three, two, and one. Gently release. We'll fold forward. Inhale. Look forward. Lengthen. Exhale. Plant your hands. Step one foot back, then the other. Lower the knees, chest, and chin. Knees stay on the ground, cobra pose. Press back to child's pose. Now lift the hips, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Gaze to the hands, step or walk forward. Come to a comfortable seat, legs out in front. We took tree pose standing up, now we're going to take it on the ground. Bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, extend the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. 
Now to start our tree pose in a seated position, bring the right hand to the outside of the left calf, ankle, or outer edge of the foot. We'll start be by twisting. Bring the left hand back. You can reach it out in space here, or you might plant it to the ground. Keep twisting, breathing. Flex the left foot. And for one of my favorite variations, bring the left arm forward now. Cross the left wrist over the right. Grab the inside of the foot with the left hand. And exhale, fold. And if you're like, eh, Alyssa, I don't like that variation. Do it the regular way. <laughs> it's your practice, not mine. Honor your body. That's what yoga is all about. Slowly release your foot, rise up, bring the right hand behind your right hip. Now lift your hips up so you're on the right shin, plant the left foot, extend the left arm up overhead, feel a nice opening in the chest, the spine, the hips, and exhale, sit it back down. We'll bring the right foot to the inside of the right thigh. Make sure your foot's about a hand's distance away from the thigh. Keep the left foot flexed. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach for your foot. Now, if your shoulder goes past your knee, you know you can bind here. If it doesn't go past the knee, keep reaching forward. If it does, turn the thumbs down. Wrap the arms around the right leg. One nice trick here when you're taking binds is the arm that's reaching around a limb is the one that's grabbing the opposite wrist. I like to remember it by saying the reacher is the grabber. So here the right hand is grabbing the left wrist. Exhale, fold if you haven't already. And breathe. Very nice. Slowly rise up. We'll take one more twist on this side and do it all on the left. Right hand behind the low back, lift the left arm up, get long, and exhale, twist. Gaze past the shoulder, pull the core in. And slowly release the twist. Bring the right leg forward, shake out both legs, let it go. And the left foot will come in, seated tree pose on this side. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold, and then we'll bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot like before. From here, extend the right arm back, might stay here in space hovering or plant it down to the mat. Really feel this stretch on the side body, especially that left side. Turn your gaze forward. Bring that back hand, the right hand, forward. Cross the right wrist over the left. The right hand will grab the inside of the left foot. Lengthen, inhale, and exhale, we fold. Slowly release the fold. Bring the left hand behind the left hip. Lift up. You're on the left shin, the right foot's planted. Reach the right arm up overhead, lift the chest. Feel all that length in your spine, the hips. And exhale, bring the hips back down to the ground. Flex the right foot, plant the left foot so it's a hand's distance away from the straight right leg. Inhale, lift the arms up, gaze up, and we'll fold like before. Again, it might be different on either side, that's fine. Make sure your left shoulder's going beyond the left knee. If it is, you know you can turn the thumbs down, wrap the arms around the left leg. The left hand will grab the right wrist this time. If you can't grab the wrist yet, no worries. Grab your leggings, grab a strap, just hold on. You might be grabbing fingertips at first for a while before you can grab a wrist. 
inhale and exhale fold. One more breath here. And slowly release the bind, release the fold. Keep the legs as they are. Left hand behind the low back. Use that hand and the arm behind you to lengthen the spine. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, hook the arm on the outside of the left leg. Gaze behind you. Inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit further. And slowly release the twist. From here, we'll come back to a comfortable seat, cross-legged, maybe kneeling on the knees like before. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. This time we'll reach the right arm out and over. Grab the left ear. Gently pull the right ear down closer to the right shoulder. A really soft, gentle stretch on the left side of the neck. Inhale and exhale. Release this gentle stretch. We'll take it on the other side. Lift the left arm up and over. Grab the right ear. Gently pull the left ear closer to the left shoulder. Feel a really nice gentle stretch on the right side of the neck. Come to a comfortable seated place. Close the eyes or look at one spot on the floor in front of you. Hands can be at the center of the lap, on the knees, heart center, whatever feels most natural for you today. Notice your breath again. Inhale and exhale. Come back to that mantra, that saying, peace begins with me. We'll inhale, mentally repeat the words, peace begins. And on your exhale, mentally repeat the words, with me. Inhale, peace begins. Exhale, with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Continue on your own with your breath. Slowly start to blink open your eyes. Bring your hands to the center of your heart, center of the chest rather. Peace truly begins with each of us. Thank you for joining me, Alyssa Yoga, for our flow today. And I hope to see you next week for week three. Namaste.